DOA estimation using music algorithm and biological inspired optimization technique for array geometrics. Abstract navigation systems and location technologies are seeing rapid progress in many fields such as military sonar, satellite communication, and radar systems. The received signal is very weak due to various environmental conditions that change dynamically. So, in order to increase the strength of the received signal and to improvise the radiation pattern, the signals have to be processed using Adaptive Array Signal Processing ASP, technique. An adaptive smart antenna system consists of a set of antenna elements and a signal processor that adapt its radiation pattern to focus the reception of array signals in the required direction and reject the signals from interfering direction. Techniques used to produce such radiation pattern by calculating the excitation weights is called adaptive beamforming ABF, technique. The performance of this technique largely depends on direction of arrival DOA of the signal and signal to noise ratio SNR This calls for development of a robust ABF technique In this work particle swarm optimization PSO technique is used to achieve ABF and suppression of side lobes Keywords adaptive beam forming ABF array factor AF array signal processing ASP direction of arrival DOA multiple signal classification music Particle Swarm Optimization, PSO I Introduction End-to-end -end communication requires highly directive beam of radiation 1. This is achieved by placing several antennas in the form of an array. Research on DOA estimation 2 is done as a part of array processing. Over few decades, wireless communication has gained the momentum due to its flexibility and convenience. For advanced services, a high-speed data rate is the need of the hour which requires higher frequency bands. But at higher frequencies cross-interference and multi-path fading becomes a major problem. Smart antenna systems can be used to overcome such problems. These smart antennas 7 have signal processing capability which are used to identify direction of arrival of the signal. Once the direction is identified, beam-forming vectors are calculated which helps in tracking the target. There are several algorithms available to estimate the DOA of the signal such as multiple signal classification, music, estimation of signal parameters via rotational invariance techniques, ESPRI, algorithm. These techniques are useful in finding the DOA from the peaks of the spectrum. DOA estimation is still an evolving and active field of research. Whereas beamforming is a technology used in arrays to get directional radiation pattern at specified angles. The main lobe A is the lobe with maximum magnitude. This means the array can transmit more energy in the direction of main lobe when it is used as a transmitter or on the other hand, the signal from that direction will be received better if the array works as a receiver. Often the radiation pattern of the array needs to be adjusted to satisfy various requirements. The radiation pattern is determined by several parameters such as nature of elements in the array, geometry of the array, the excitation coefficients of each element etc. An array consisting of multiple elements is used for improving the radiation pattern without changing the characteristics of individual elements. Compared to individual elements, an array can achieve higher directivity, higher gain, and a lower SLL. The most common geometry for arrays are linear, rectangular, and circular. This paper is organized as follows Section 2 gives the related work. Section 3 gives the method used for adaptive beam forming using the PSO technique. Section 4 gives the simulated results followed by the analysis. The paper concludes with Section V. 2 Related Work 2.1 DOA Estimation Using Music Algorithm The principle of music algorithm 4 is to perform characteristic decomposition on an array output data to obtain a covariance matrix resulting in signal and noise subspaces which are orthogonal to each other. The noise and signal subspaces are then used to constitute a spectrum function by performing spectral peak search method. This gives the DOA of signal. This algorithm has high resolution, accuracy, and stability when compared to other techniques 1. Modeling this mathematically. 1. Consider the narrow band signal sources with center frequency point zero. Let us assume D number of testing signal sources. 2. 
consider a uniformly spaced antenna array which consists of m isotropic array elements having same responses, such that m is greater than d. 3. Let interelemental spacing be d an interval not greater than half the wavelength of the highest frequency. 4. Each element is considered to be in the far field and received signals are coming from the signal source or as a plane wave. 5. Both noise and signal are uncorrelated. 3. Adaptive beam forming using PSO. Technique The efficiency of an antenna array system decreases due to the various atmospheric conditions. 6. In order to improve the efficiency of the system, optimization of the design becomes essential. In particle swarm optimization 7. PSO, the solutions are considered as the particle and population is termed as swarm size. The particles are in motion around the search space. Personal best and global best positions will guide the movement of particles in the search space and movement of entire swarm is based on the best possible position discovered. PSO technique optimizes a given problem by iterative process and it tries to obtain a better solution. PSO can be used on optimization problems that are partially irregular, noisy, and which change over time. Modeling this PSO technique mathematically. Assuming 9 there are i birds in each flock, each bird can be seen as one particle in the algorithm, and the space is extended to j dimensions, the total number of the particles is j asterisk i. The movement of each particle will be updated by the following two equations. The initial velocity and position of each particle are generated randomly. In this technique, all the particles will be initialized randomly and they are evaluated and then fitness is computed. By finding the best, best value which is obtained by each particle, and best, best value which is obtained in the entire swarm, values. Further, the iteration process continues to find Best Optimum Solution Initially, particle's velocity is updated with the best and best values. Further, individual particles position is updated with respect to the current velocity. This process continues until predefined value is met. In the PSO technique the phases are considered as particles which represent the candidate solution to the problem being addressed. Initially, the population size, solution space, fitness function, and number of iterations are defined. Number is wavelength of the signal, D is the elemental spacing. Is the phase shift weight at element N. Is the angle of incidence. PSO technique is used to obtain the optimized radiation pattern. In each iteration, the array factor gain will be varied based on the desired user and the interferer with respect to the past iteration. Then the converged values provides an optimized radiation pattern. 4. Simulation Results 4.1 The Basic Direction of Arrival Estimation FIG 2 shows two independent narrow band signals that are incident at an angle 300 and 600. The following assumptions are made, two signals are not interrelated, ideal AWGN channel is considered, the SNR is 20 dB, Number of array elements is 16 and the frequency considered is 10 kHz. 4.2 DOA estimation with respect to array elemental spacing. In this simulation, total array element considered is 16, inter-elemental spacing are lambda by 6, lambda by 2 and lambda. The result is as shown below. From the results, fig.3, it can be seen that as the inter-elemental spacing between the elements increases, beam width of the estimated received signal becomes narrow. As the spacing between elements increased, the accuracy and resolution also increased. But, when spacing is greater than slash two false peaks have been detected along with signal. Therefore in real time, inter-elemental spacing becomes a major factor in DOA estimation. 4.3 DOA estimation with respect to number of elements. It is seen that with increase in number of elements, the beam width becomes narrower and directivity becomes higher. Thus it has been possible to distinguish spatial signals, but the flip side is that the data processing speed decreases. 4.4 DOA estimation with respect to number of snapshots. The number of snapshots taken are 5, 50, and 200 which is done by retaining the same simulation parameters. With increase in snapshots, 
the beam width becomes narrow, highly directive beam is obtained and efficiency of estimation also increases. But with more snapshots more data needs to be processed and reducing the speed. Hence in real-time applications, optimal selection is necessary for better results. 4.5 DOA estimation with respect to SNR. Here again, the assumed parameters are kept unchanged and SNR is varied between 20 dB, 0 dB, and 20 dB. Increase in SNR results in a narrow and highly directive beam and thus the accuracy increases. This is seen in Fig.6. The performance declines sharply at low SNR. 4.6 Detection of coherent signals using improved music algorithm. Let us consider an AWGN noise channel through which we are receiving two signals incidenting at an angle 30 degrees and 600 respectively and these signals are coherent and uncorrelated to each other. Other parameters remains unchanged. Thus improved music algorithm provides better results for the DOA estimation for coherent signals. 4.7 Adaptive beam forming using PSO To demonstrate the performance of the PSO technique, a uniform linear array with n elements, inter-elemental spacing of lambda slash 2 is considered. The amplitude of the received signals is considered as 1V for simulation purpose. The additional system noise to all antenna elements is white noise with zero mean and a noise variance of 2. PSO is done for 100 iterations with a population size of 50, 1. 2 set to 2. Phase excitation BN is taken in the range 2P. 2p. Initially the best and best and their velocities are taken to be random. In this scenario 16 elements linear array is considered with one desired user direction along 30 degrees and two undesired interferes at 20 degrees and 50 degrees. The aim is to obtain an optimal phase shift that configures the adaptive antenna in such a way that the resulting AF along the desired user should be maximized and the AF along interferer should be minimized. Each particle consists of a set of randomly generated shift weights, which are optimized at each iteration, until their values produce the desired radiation pattern as shown below. V Conclusion DOA estimation plays a key role in array signal processing and is applied in wide variety of applications. The signals are received from various signal sources from different directions. By applying the DOA estimation algorithm, accurate direction of the signal is obtained. There might exist various kinds of noise and disturbances which affects the receiving signal. Though there are many estimation algorithms to obtain the DOA of a signal, music algorithm has an ability to detect multiple signals, has higher precision and requires less sensors. The simulation results shows that DOA estimation accuracy can be enhanced through either inter-elemental spacing, number of elements, number of snapshots and SNR. The snapshots and SNR needed to be high enough to improve accuracy and resolution of the DOA estimation. The computational complexity of the algorithm to estimate DOA depended on obtaining the covariance matrix and its disintegration to compute the power spectrum. PSO technique is used to optimize the radiation pattern of linear antenna array. Fitness function is used to increase the signal strength in the user direction and reduce the signal strength in the interferer direction. It was also used to obtain an optimal set of phase shift weights that configured the adaptive antenna in such a way that the resulting AF along user could be maximized and AF along interferer could be minimized. It was observed that the PSO was able to achieve optimized radiation pattern for a different directions of user and interfering angles. Several variables like acceleration coefficient, swarm size, iterations, and velocity components can be used to achieve the optimized radiation pattern according to user requirements.